Hi guys, welcome to The Church Split. My name is Will, and this is a bit of a different video than I normally do. This is not theology, this is not apologetics, this is not an interview, this is nothing along that nature. This is just a health update, and this is gonna be a quick video, and then the follow-up video that you'll see also posted with this video will tell you the full story of everything that took place for all your entertainment purposes and kind of give you a fuller picture. But this is just a quick video just to kind of let you know what's going on for those of you who do not want all the gory details or those who do not have time for the gory details. Basically, uh, three weeks ago today, I did uh, a backflip at a trampoline park and I mislanded. Uh, somehow I landed in a weird way where I even, the uh, trampoline was right there. I hit the trampoline and it just snapped my leg right back and twisted it. So I got a nice tibia and fibula spiral break. Uh, it required surgery. I needed to have a rod put in. I needed a plate put in. I needed a bunch of screws put in and the recovery has been a doozy. Uh, although I was able to get up to the studio today, much with my wife's help, uh, it's a very large staircase and it's hard to do with crutches, but um, I was able to get that done. And so you're not going to see regular content for a minute here because I still have four weeks before I could even take off my boot. And who knows with uh, with the strength of it all at that point, because right now my leg continually gives out from underneath me and I have a lot of problems with that. So we'll see. Um, normally I record in the evening when my daughter is in bed and my wife is at home watching her and I drive up to my studio and I do all the recordings then. And obviously if I my driver foot is busted, I can't really get up here. So that is kind of complicating things a little bit, but today's both of our days off. We decided to run up here and do this because I did get the total of my bill. Some of you guys who follow us on social media know I have been promoting a GoFundMe, uh, which I didn't realize that GoFundMe uh, was apparently pretty hostile toward Christian stuff. I have not used a GoFundMe in ages, but uh, and that there are, there's Give, Send, Go, which is apparently a Christian one. I didn't know that until after I've already started this and uh, there was already a significant amount given to it. So that's kind of annoying. But uh, I got the total bill from the hospital today and I was estimating about $30,000 and it ended up being about 23,870. And here's the thing. When we took this job, we knew that the church did not have insurance. And my wife was has been working part time at Starbucks to provide medical insurance. And they kind of like explained it to her funny. And there's some weird mishaps because it's like a part time gig with insurance and they calculate your hours and it has to average out X amount. And they basically told her the wrong week or she misunderstood the wrong week. It's all kind of blurry on that aspect. Um, Callie is wondering if she misunderstood or if somebody misinformed her. We don't really know. But she wasn't able to get insurance right away when she we thought she was going to have it. And then she was going to have it on June 1st. And then I broke my leg to, you know, three weeks before uh, insurance kicked in, which is super smart. Uh, and now granted, uh, most people would be like, why are you at a trampoline park? And and uh, when you're uninsured, and that's a good question because I've been to them a hundred times and never had an issue. I've done a lot of things uh, from martial arts to things like rock climbing. I've done it all and I've never had an issue, right? I'm 32 years old. I'm young and pretty capable in those areas. So never really thought it was going to be an issue until it became an issue. And now it's going to cost my money, my family a lot of money. When we took this job at the church, for those who don't know, I was also working as a finance manager for three years before this, and I was making really good money. Uh, that kind of bill would be still a lot, but we'd actually be able to manage it in a couple months and be able to pay it off. Now I've taken about a 50% pay cut and my wife's insurance hasn't even kicked in yet. And she works part time, but it's really only for the insurance. Um, there's not, it's not like it's a ton of money that comes in. So I talked to them today uh, and they did give me financial assistance, by the way, uh, the 23,870, it's like 869.97, but basically, let's just say 870. Basically up to this point, uh, that 23, that 23,870 was the discounted price. It was originally going to be $65,000. So they have helped me with that. Uh, but bottom line is, is I need your help. Uh, we cannot just like shuck out all our life savings and everything to cover this stupid little accident. And we are asking just if anyone is willing to give the GoFundMe link is in the description below. If you don't want to give to GoFundMe, uh, you can email us at the church split at gmail.com or message me on Facebook or any of those areas uh, and just ask how you can get us money uh, if you want to give. Otherwise, if you could just share it along, that'd be very helpful. And if anyone's willing to give, they can. Uh, 
the church that I work at, it has offered to help where they can, but the budget has been tight the last year. And even though things were recovering pretty okay, uh, they are not going to probably be able to cover $23,000. Uh, and so they want to help where they can. Um, but bottom line is, is that that's still a lot of money. And so I am trying to make some things come together. You know, what money do I need to throw at it? Uh, obviously, um, because if we don't raise all the money, well, then I'm going to have to throw money at it. And if the church isn't able to cover it, which I doubt they're going to be able to cover that much money, uh, <laughs> we we need help. So uh, this is me going, hey, guys, if you could give me a helping hand, that'd be great. I know a lot of you support us on Patreon as well. Uh, the Patreon money, though, goes straight to the church split fund. It goes to funding this show uh, for supplies and things that we need for this show. I don't want to use it, nor is my intent to use it for medical bills because that's not why I think people give to it. Uh, they don't give they people don't give to Patreon to cover people jumping at trampoline parks, you know, so that's not the goal there. So my goal is to essentially see if anyone's willing to give and ask you guys for help. Uh, it was an unexpected injury. We we're there with a fam with another family and we we're just goofing off and having a good time. And we were there for about 30 minutes before the break. And then that was it. We had to go to the ER and stay the night at the hospital. I got out of the hospital as soon as I was able. They're like, you can technically leave, but we suggest you stay till tomorrow. And I said, get me the heck out of here. Because <laughs> all I saw were do dollar signs. And sure enough, those are some big dollar signs. So anyway, that is kind of the gist of it. This sort of thing could financially be very difficult for me and my family uh, just due to our financial situation. You know, we're not where we were. And that's because we wanted to serve. And I am very confident the Lord will take care of us. And he has taken care of us up to this point. Before we moved, I worked, since I worked at a dealer, I did not have a car. I sold my car to Micah. Uh, Micah, if you guys might remember, he was on here, Micah Kilmer. He was on the channel. We took him in. He needed a car. I sold him my car because I drove dealership cars. I wasn't planning on working at church at a church in the next year or two. And uh, I took the job here, but I needed a car and a car was just given to us by somebody down here uh, and when they've heard of the need. So we have had a lot of things line up, but we've also had a lot of challenges since moving here. I mean, our house, uh, we had flooding in our basement. Uh, our realtor kind of up in Michigan ripped us off and misled us and ended up costing us $3,500 after we had already signed something that was explained one way, but then duped us on the other. Uh, we've had uh, quite a few things that have taken place. Oh, um, I two weeks ago, my credit card was hacked. And so somebody stole $1,200. Luckily, my bank is on top of that on giving us money back. And we've had just a lot. We, it's been a lot. Okay, we've had a lot going on uh, financially. Uh, we've had a lot of problems even with the house that we bought, a lot of unexpected costs, and which is, you know, all part of life. But bottom line is, is, uh, you know, $23,870 is something that is uh, not only unexpected, but fairly undoable for most families. And in order for us to do that, we would be draining our entire life's savings, essentially. So I don't want to do that. Um, and I'm not looking to take money out of my 401k. So uh, it, this is one of those vulnerable posts where I'm just saying, hey, I'm a human being. Um, it was a dumb thing, but it was a freak thing. And we could really use your help. My wife, my daughter, uh, we could really use that help. And the church is willing to help where they can. But Obviously, they can only help where they can. So we are just asking if you're able to help, we would really appreciate it. If you're unable to help, pray for us and not, and then share the link along. Because if you're unable to help, doesn't mean someone else isn't led to as well. Uh, some people have already given substantial amounts. We've I had a donation for $500. And I was also given a check by a friend uh, for $1,000. I, I, we've raised, um, I think, a grand total of almost eight grand, which is a huge dent into that. But bottom line is it's still a lot of money and we uh i have a mission trip coming up in Ser to serbia in june i am we are leaving the 21st for that and my boot is coming off the 17th <laughs> so it's like five days beforehand and i'm i'm i'll be on my boot so i'll be limping around but they did tell me i should be green clear to go i will say every day i notice small improvements but when you go from where I was to where I am, there's still significant amounts to go. So every every day I notice small improvements. Every week I notice larger improvements. And I feel like now at three weeks, I'm probably the I'm obviously more on the men than I've ever been, but I'm still pretty crippled. Um, car rides are not nearly as bad. They used to be hell, but they're no longer as bad as they used to be. Um, 
that I can move my leg more than I've been able to, which helps with the car rides to get in. Uh, once they remove the staples on Monday, that, that increased a lot of my mobility. However, it also increased a lot of pain because now I uh, no longer have wrappings and stuff that hold my leg. And now my muscles are having to work there. Uh, the biggest thing that probably hurts right now uh, are, is the muscle pain and the, the incisions around my ankle. And because that's where all the that's where all the bruising is and where the, a lot of the incisions have taken place. So in the next video after this, I'm going to tell you the entire story of what happened. And then I'll also show you pictures and just kind of walk you through and tell you some of the funny stories because some of you I know would care about that. And one of the things that we have advocated for on this channel a lot is this idea of bearing in one another's burdens. So we help one another, we listen to each other, and we're also open and vulnerable when we need to, we need to be. And, you know, that was something that took me a long time to get good at where I was okay with sharing my personal life a little bit, my personal story. But I have realized over time that doing that has significantly helped me mentally, emotionally, and also has helped my family get help when we otherwise wouldn't have it because people do want to help. People want to help and they want to be the kingdom. I know you guys want to help people. And because of that, we should be more open and vulnerable when so these sorts of things happen. And then when we give, you know, we reap what we sow and other people can get, will give when we are in need. And, uh, you know, I can honestly say that I am very blessed to have uh, the people who have given what they've given uh, to be surrounded by a community that cares, um, to be surrounded by friends who uh, give and not just give, but also message me and ask us how we're doing. Uh, I had a, a lady at the church come up to me on Sunday and she goes, how are you doing? I said, good. She goes, no, how are you doing really? I know this is a lot. I'm like, well, it's been difficult. You know, nothing makes you face your own mortality like a big accident. And this was a huge accident. Um, I was told by my doctor on Wednesday that I broke my leg in the worst place possible, but besides my actual like femur. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that was good. <laughs> He's like, you broke the, the worst place and in the worst way, because it was not quite my ankle bones, and it, but it was my actual tibia and fibula close to the ankle that snapped in a spiral fashion. And you'll see some pictures here. I don't have the x-ray photos yet because they gave me a disc and uh, no PCs used disc readers anymore. And so we have to go to like Walgreens or something. So just follow us and you'll eventually see those. They were some sick uh, x-rays. But anyway, guys, uh, this is just me kind of putting myself out there a little bit, asking you guys to help me out if you can. This is the short video. Next video, I'll break it all down for you. But and then we're going to get out of here. So um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching this video. And uh, anything that you can do, is beneficial, whether it's pray, whether it's share, whether it's give, um, whether it's just liking the video and moving on, all that stuff is helpful. But most of all, um, I just appreciate the fact that this has been the church split has actually built a great community of people who not only want to learn, but also want to learn and be the hands and feet of Christ and actually practice what we preach and be the church, not just pretend to be the church, because that's been a thing we've criticized a lot on here. And a lot of our community has resonated with. So, uh, Money where my mouth is, I guess. Uh, I have said to be open and vulnerable and all that. And now here we are. So appreciate you guys. And we'll see you soon. As soon as recovery actually happens and I'm able, I will be up here doing episodes again. But until then, guys, take care. God bless. And we'll see you the next on the next Church Split episode. Stay tuned.